Ted Cruz's Senate campaign has spent thousands at beauty spas. You know, noted style icon and skin care expert Ted Cruz has apparently spent over $9,000. On beauty services, let's see. You have uh, nearly three hundred dollars at a Lord Day Spa in New York City. What was he doing on the coast? Uh, let's see. You have three hundred and ten dollars in June, nearly a thousand in February, and a makeup artist in Houston. Uh, some donor, uh, some vendors being uh, paid a dozen times. The most expensive treatment that he apparently got, or somebody got was $250 for the hydrafacial skin renewing treatment to help you quote achieve a youthful and confident look. And if you're trying to figure out whether you should get the hydrafacial skin renewing treatment because you want a youthful and confident look, well here is what it gets you. I will allow you to decide if it worked. To be fair, it's not a beard dying procedure, so I'll you know give him a pass on that, but obviously look, you can't do this. It is also illegal. So we're being a bit flippant about his physical appearance because you know Ted Cruz, but you also like this is you're not supposed to be using your campaign funds for personal enrichment in this particular way. By the way, he himself seems to understand this. If we jump to graphic five, he said on his podcast when he wasn't talking about how much he wants to bang a vampire in black leather, we don't want candidates using a campaign funds to pay personal expenses, whether new clothes, a weight loss program, or a gym membership purchased to help the candidate look better. And that seemed to be a statement of his own position. Now it seems like him projecting all of his recent purchases using donor funds. Anyway, JR, I mostly just bring up Cruz because he could lose in his election today. What do you think of the story? What do you think of Cruz? I legit was gonna be on the side of yo if he wants to try and make himself look, but appearance is a big part. Which you know by its you know dismissing all rules about using campaign funds and things like that. I was like yo, you could actually make maybe a case be like yo, I need to look right. If I look like a mess, then <laughs> you know maybe fewer people will vote for me, right? But he even said yo specifically the gym, you know facials, hair, whatever he said that they they need to you know, polish themselves up better as. He's against it too. All we need is an answer, bro. All we need is an answer. Just just point out why you're for this. I mean, this is the same guy who also ran off to Cancun when yep. uh, his state uh, was getting, you know, the severe severe storm that froze everybody in. So, yeah, I guess it all checks out. Yeah, look, he's he's just his corruption is of the petty variety. It's like a normal politician that sees this donor money as his own personal piggy bank. It's not on the level of like a Donald Trump or something, but just a reminder to the voters of Texas, this is who your guy is. This and nothing else. It's not, you know, great legislation, but the downside is corruption and he occasionally leaves you to die in a blizzard. That's all he is. Send him to go spend more time with the thing he truly loves, his stupid little podcast. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.